Welcome everyone to topic 7, Algorithm Design and Problem Solving. This is video 1 and this starts us on our journey through paper 2 in the IGCSE and O-Level Computer Science course. For this first video we're going to be looking at um, ways to understand the program development life cycle but we're going to limit this to the analysis, the design, the coding and the testing. What do I mean by that? This is the program development life cycle and as you can see it's broken up into six stages. We've got the program definition, we've got the problem analysis, we've got the algorithm development, coding and documentation, testing and debugging and maintenance. But we're going to break this down into four. We're going to be focusing on number two, number three, number four and number five. So first of all we are going to look at analysis problem analysis which is basically the abstraction, the decomposition of the problem, the identification of the problem and the requirements. Basically we're going to be computational thinking. Then we're going to look at the design, the decomposition, but we're going to produce um, structure diagrams, flowcharts, pseudocode to enable us to think about how exactly we're going to code this. We're going to move on to coding whereby we're writing the program code itself we're going to carry out some testing, in this case some iterative testing, to ensure it's working correctly. Then we move on to the testing and debugging section, whereby we're testing the program code with the use of specific test data pertinent to the actual problem. So, let's take this first step we're going to be looking at the problem analysis. Before any problem can be solved, it must be clearly defined, so that everyone working on the solution understands what is needed. This is called problem definition or requirement specification um, for the program. So we'll look in at number one. This is called computational thinking. In terms of the problem analysis phase we're going to be using abstraction, pattern recognition and decomposition tools to identify exactly what is required of the program. So what is abstraction? Let's have a little bit of a recap. What is abstraction? This is a process of filtering out, ignoring the characteristics of patterns that we don't need in order to concentrate on those that we do. It is also the filtering out of specific details. This allows us to create a general idea of what the program is and how to solve it. The process instructs us to remove all specific detail and any patterns that will not help us that will not help us solve our problem. This helps us form our idea of the problem. Well, what does that mean? Let's have a little look. I'm going to take, um, for example, um, a little subject here, a dog. Okay, so what are specific details or characteristics? In pattern recognition, we're looking at the problem of having to draw a series of dogs. We noted that all dogs have general characteristics which are common to all dogs, e.g. they have eyes, a tail, fur, a liking for sniffing other dogs' bottoms, and the ability to make barking sounds. In addition, each dog has specific characteristics such as black fur, a long tail, green eyes, a love of fetching sticks, a loud bark. These details are known as specifics. In order to draw a basic dog, we do need to know that it has eyes, a tail, fur, because these characteristics are relevant. We don't need to know what sound a dog makes, or that it likes chasing cars and retrieving sticks, these characteristics are irrelevant and can be filtered out. We do need to know that a dog has a tail, fur and eyes, but we don't need to know what size and colour these are. These specifics can again be filtered out. From the general characteristics we have tail, fur, eyes. We can build a basic idea of a dog, i.e. what a dog basically looks like. Once we know what a dog looks like, we can describe how to draw a basic dog. Not that this dog, there we go, I put a little eye on for the dog there. Decomposition. This does form part of the computational thinking and the problem analysis. Decomposition breaks down a complete problem into smaller parts. Basically, you may have come across the term chunking. Um, this is what we're doing here, which can then be broken down into even smaller parts that can be easily solved. Each daily task can be divided into individual parts, such as um, getting ready for school, we get out of bed, we get dressed, we clean our teeth, we go and have breakfast, 
we make sure our school bag is packed, we get on the school bus and we go to school. We move on then to um, number three, which is the design, the algorithm development. A program specification from the problem analysis stage is used to show how the program should be developed. When the design stage, algorithm development is complete, the programmer should know what is to be done, i.e. all the tasks that need to be completed and how each task is to be performed, including how the tasks will work together. This can be formally documented using structured charts, flowcharts and pseudocode. So once we've got all that established, once we've got a basic structure of what the program is going to look like, we, think we can then move on to the coding and the documentation. At this stage a program or set of programs is developed. Each module or part of the program is written using a suitable programming language and then it will be tested to see if it works. Iterative testing is done which means that modular tests are conducted, code is amended and tests are repeated until the program performs as it is required. We then move on to testing and debugging. So we've got a working program but the now completed program or set of programs is run over and over again many times with different sets of test data. This ensures that the task or rather all the tasks are debugged and work is completed in line and are specified in the program design. So we've gone from here all the way around to here. We now have a final program that works and has been tested and meets the requirements of the specification. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. And that is it. We have tackled the program development life cycle. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you again next time in video two. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.